Hello learners, this is Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raur Kela in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to find out the eccentricity, coordinates of force and uh, equations of directrices to this given ellipse. Okay. First, I want to convert this given ellipse into a standard form. I mean, we are just going to re rearrange the terms and little and do some things so that we can convert it to the standard form like x minus h whole square plus y minus k, x minus h whole square by a square plus y minus k whole square by b square is equal to 1. I am going to do that. For that, for that, this is my given ellipse. First, first, stay with me. I am going to make it easy for you. First, bring x terms to one side like 4x square minus 8x. Write, it, write them together and y square plus 2y. Write them together. All good. Now, now, if you see in these two terms, in these two terms, here I have 4x square, here I have 8 minus 8x. I can take 4 common, I can take 4 common, if I'll do that, if I'll do that, I'll get 4 into x square minus 2x because I took uh, 4 common, so I got minus 2x here and uh, these two I just wrote them in one bracket, y square plus 2y, okay, and plus 1 is there, all good, chalo. Now, I want to write, I want to make this into some perfect square, okay, some perfect square plus uh, minus something or plus something, okay, now how to do that? If you observe, this can be written as this this x, x square minus 2x can be written as x, x square minus 2 into x into 1. That is totally okay. Fine. And this 2y I wrote it as 2 into y into 1. Now you might ask why I am doing this. See, to convert into something like a perfect square, I am using this uh, a square uh, minus 2ab plus b square. Okay, here I have a square minus 2ab. I need plus b square. If you see, here I have x square and minus 2 into x into 1. So I, ju I just need to add and subtract one square here also i just need to add and subtract one square upon doing that is what i get inside the bracket i'm doing this now if you see if you see if you see these three terms what do they make these three terms they make up x minus one whole square because it is like a square minus two a b plus b square so this would be nothing but a minus b whole square so x minus one whole square likewise this is nothing but these three terms these three terms they make up y plus 1 whole square. Okay, fine. Hope things are clear. And then this uh, minus 1 square is minus 1. Here also minus 1 square is minus 1. That's there. Fine. Okay, now 4, you now you multiply this 4, like 4 into this minus 4 into 1. So 4 ones are 4. 4 into this is obvious. And uh, y plus 1 whole square minus 1 is there. And this plus 1 is there since the beginning. Okay, chalo. Now it's a basic simplification. So minus one plus one would cancel, get cancelled and minus four, I just wrote it to the end. Now send this minus four to the RHS. Now, now, if you see, if you see in the standard form of my ellipse, in the RHS, I have one. In the RHS, I have one. Now how to make this four a one? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the entire equation with four. I'm going to divide the entire equation with four. So this is what I did. If I were to do that, this is what I'll get. Because you see, if I divide it, if I divide it by 4, so this by 4, this by 4, 4 by 4 is 1. I divide it by 4. So that's why I get 4 into x minus 1 whole square by 4. And here I have 4 by 4, which is nothing but 1. Okay. So now next. So here also 4, 4, 4 cancel. X, x minus 1 whole square by 1 plus 5 plus 1 whole square by 4 equal to 1. Okay. Now. I want to write this of the form x minus h whole square by a square plus y minus k whole square by b square. Okay, so y minus something, but here I have y plus one. Now what to do? I can write plus one as minus of minus one. I can write plus one as minus of minus one. So this is y minus of minus one, and then whole square is there as it is by four. Now uh, I want these two denominators in in perfect square form. So this 1 I can write it as 1 square, this 4 I can write it as 2 square. Okay, fine. So before that only I just compare it directly, fine. So you can do it anyways, like in the, after this you can just write x minus h whole square by 1 square plus 5 minus of minus 1 whole square by 2 square. It's fine. So if you'll compare, so a square is 1 and b square is 4. If you see h is 1, x minus 1 is here and x minus h is here. So h is 1. Here I have y minus k, here I have y minus of minus 1. So k is minus 1 okay so h is k now if you'll observe if you'll observe one thing here a is 1 and b is 2 so b is actually greater than a 
whenever b is greater than a like this then the ellipse is vertical then the ellipse is vertical fine so if you remember uh, if you remember first we had to find out the eccentricity okay till now we have not started with the question yet if you if i were to say the actual calculations we just found out the a b h and k that's all fine eccentricity formula when ellipse is vertical is under root of b square minus a square by b square so you know everything right b square is 4 a square is what the substitute this is what you have root 4 is 2 so that's why this is what happened now they also asked to find out the coordinates of foci foci formula is h comma k plus or minus b okay h i showed you in the previous slide h is 1 and k is minus 1 b is uh, 2 and e is here eccentricity e means eccentricity here it's root 3 by 2 so that's on this to this root cancelled get cancelled and uh, i'm left out with 1 comma minus 1 plus or minus root 3 okay so coordinates of foci are also done also they are asking us to find out the uh, equations of directrices okay the equations of directrices equation of directrices is uh, y equal to k plus or minus b by okay fine now you have to remember all this okay what, for, what are foci what is eccentricity what is equations of directrices fine this is something which you are expected to remember if possible i'll try to make a video based on all the formula related to ellipse sometime later okay next mm fine now substitute k we know k is minus 1 and b is 2 and e is root 3 by 2 now this 2 would go to the numerator so 2 into 2 4 by root 3 y equal to minus 1 plus over s 4 by root 3 just take lcm so this my root 3 would go here so minus Root three plus or minus four by root three. Root three is ended here, so root three y is equal to minus root three plus or minus four. Now bring everything to uh, LHS, so I get root three, root three y plus root three. Since this is minus, if it will come here, it will become plus root three. And plus or minus four, you can just keep it as you can make it minus or plus four or plus or minus four. Anything is fine because in the textbook this answer is given. I have just written that, and in the RHS I have zero. Fine, thank you. This is what they asked: eccentricity, coordinates of foci, and equations of directrices. We are done with that. Thank you very much for staying with me up till now. Okay, uh, not just this topic. I have made questions related to other topics like uh, indefinite integration, definite integration, circles, binomial theorem, theorem of equations. I hope you check them out uh, uh, in the playlist in the playlist section of my channel. and uh, if you like this video please hit the like button it would encourage me to make uh, many more of such videos and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please do subscribe to it thank you